Mr. Hammer. Yeah? If Mr. Barnes had told me what you looked like, I would have picked you up alone. I saw you in your birthday suit. Happy birthday. <laughs> It's not my fault she's a hawker. Look out! is a city of over 10 million people. Yet it's hard to go anywhere in this town without running into somebody that you know. Somebody like Kate Conlon, who had drifted through my life six months ago like satin on glass and then disappeared. It was nice to have a drink with Kate again. But somehow she seemed a little edgy. So you I never thought I'd see you again. Well, here I am, still alive and kicking. Tough luck, huh? I wouldn't call it that. Well, here's to three weeks, a long time ago. They were wonderful weeks. I'm sorry I never said goodbye. Hey, come on, forget it. I hate goodbyes anyway. Mike, I, um, I'm really glad I ran into you. Yeah, me too. I'd love to spend more time with you, but I gotta get going. No dinner tonight? Can't. Let's make it another time. Next time I bump into you in a crowd, huh? Do I get a phone number? Let me call you. You're at the same place, right? Still playing the mysterious lady, huh? Who's playing? Bye, Mike. All right, pal, hold it right there. 
Now, you know I'm serious. Now, you can come down your way or my way. Hey, hey, mister, don't shoot. You want the money? Look, you got the money, okay? Look, I got a wife. Well, I got an ex-wife, but I got kids. Well, I got ex-kids. Here, look, you take the money, okay? Give me a break. Drop the cannon, pilgrim. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, hey, Hold don't it. let him get away, man. Please. Move again, and you're gonna be breathing through another hole. Look, it's okay. You can ask the lady. She'll tell you what happened. What lady? Right over there in the trench coat. Look, I'm a private cop. If you don't believe me, you can check my ID. It's right here in my shirt pocket. Yeah. We get forgeries all the time, Ace. And I bet you don't give me any love letters. Hey, my license. You dropped my license, Ace. So what about the glasses? They were they were thick, like beer bottles. Let's put them on last. Chambers. Yes, sir. Swell. Hammer, I'm glad you're still here. Who does your face, Barrington? None of your business. You look very good in black and blue. When we told no my camera, the gentleman who recovered your billfold. Oh. There you go. Thank you. Mr. Tolnoski is an attache with the Bulgarian legation to the UN. Oh, yeah? I didn't know Bulgaria was in the UN. I understand you actually saw the perpetrator. Yeah, but he was nothing special, just sort of a street weasel. Weasel? Yeah, you know, kind of uh, weaselish. Mm. Real dirtbag. I would like a copy of this for my security staff. They will be most interested to see that this man is apprehended. No problem. Did he get you for much? Oh, the money is not important, but I had two tickets for the Yankee home opener. <laughs> American baseball. Fascinating. An intriguing, geometric, orderly. I guess you haven't seen the Mets play lately. Uh, oh, no, I haven't. Uh, Mr. Hammond, may I express my gratitude by offering you some Yankee tickets? Uh, that's a very generous offer, sir, but Mr. Hammond, like myself, is just happy that we could be of some assistance to the diplomatic community, hands across the water, so to speak. I'll walk you out, gentlemen. Five will get you ten. Baird and cop the tickets for himself. Yeah, I'll forget the tickets. I just want to dig Kate's wallet out of here and deliver it personally. Oh, come on, Mike, you don't want to get mixed up with her again. Not Kate Collins. Nice frame, but she doesn't get a 10 for loyalty. Come on, give me a break, will you, Pat? Kate was obviously ducking the cops, but why? Mr. Hammer. Yeah? If Mr. Barnes had told me what you looked like, I would have picked you up alone. I would have let you. Michael. Hey, Mochula. What's happening? Well, if it isn't the dipstick. Hey, you're right already. Take it easy. I knew you'd catch me. I just wanted to set things right. Where is the girl's wallet? I gave it back. I swear, I gave them all back. I do like your style, Michael. When the animal grovels, kick it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's quite possible that the dip Lester here could be of assistance. He cases his marks better than most second story men. Yeah. <laughs> From the roof, I seen the lady cut out on you, leave you with the cops. Kate Conlon, right? You got it. She works at the Dreamstar Ballroom. The Dreamstar, that's a classy, unique dime of dance run by this gentleman from Detroit, John Vox. Kate is to the older, the ethnic, and the foreign. Yeah. After hours, this girls are bringing in a bundle with a few extra cha-chas, and she's the best. Hey, 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 it's not my fault she's a hawker. Where is the Dream Star Ballroom? Here's the address. We even now? No. Oh. Now we're even. You've got to see that psychiatrist, Michael. Soon! Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Yeah. I'm uh, looking for a woman. And I'm looking for a man. Kate Conlon, you know her? Nothing Kate can do for you, but I can. Hey, pal. You can't talk to the girls unless you buy a computer ticket. You can't talk to the girls out here. <laughs> you can't talk to them in there. How much does a ticket cost? Dollar fifty a minute. Dollar fifty a minute? That's more than most shrinks get. I bet you'd like my couch better. I'll make a note. We'd, uh, we'd like a credit card or a $50 cash advance. You got that kind of bread, don't you? Hey, is America a free country? 
We have 20, 40, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9. Got uh, 25, 50, 75, 85, 95, 1, 2, 3, 4, 50 bucks. For that price, you should throw in a pair of shoes. Katie and I are waiting for a poker. Really? Sorry, pal. She's my wife. Dr. Hammer. What are you doing in a place like this, anyway? Mike, how did you find me here? I'm cutting in. Oh, yeah? I didn't know you could dance with a bad knee. I'm not a bad knee. Oh, now you do. <laughs> now you got a matching pair. Mike, you are crazy. Oh, talk to me. Why did you leave him when the cops had me? I can't tell you. Not here. It's too dangerous. Where then? Light and easy. I get off at two. Light and easy closes at two. Listen, you remember Aristotle's? Yeah. Okay. When you get off work, meet me there. What do you say? Sure. I promise. Thanks for the dance, big guy. Next time you can lead. Good night, John Box. You can't win. You always got women coming in and out of your life and always at the wrong time. Tell me about it. Speaking of time, it's 2.30 in the morning. Where is she? Listen, Mike. If Kate don't show up, I get you a nice Greek girl, huh? She stroke your head, bake your bread, and uh, <laughs> warm your bed. Is that why Zorba's always dancing? Here's something else, you know that? Hey, Kate. You're looking even better than I remember. Thank you, Aristotle. You still like him without mustard? Yeah. Hey, you two, uh, go ahead. Uh, whatever. I'm not here. Hey. Come on. Talk to me. What's going on? There's so much I want to tell you, but it, it's complicated. And... Obviously, somebody had wanted Kate's purse, and they didn't care how they got it. Kate and I were lucky this time. Aristotle wasn't. The Smooth Tottery Theater, here on A&A. I woke up the next morning to the sharp smell of antiseptic and every muscle rebelling against last night's close encounter of the dangerous kind. The nurses in this hospital were very tight-lipped. 
no one would tell me anything about Kate. But they didn't need to tell me about poor Aristotle. I knew he was dead. Oh, come on. I already gave you blood this morning. And now we need some more. Hold out your arm. I feel like an automated teller in a blood bank. Nothing like a little blood money, darling. <laughs> Ow! Easy, honey. No more questions. Thank you. No more questions. I'm sorry. Honey, you got more scars on your body than an old baseball. And now you know why. A body like yours deserves more respect. Mm -hmm. You forget. I saw you in your birthday suit. Happy birthday. <laughs> Listen, I just saw you on the tube. You were absolutely great. You got a real nose for news. That thing I did two days ago, you mean they showed my mishap on the television? In living color, and it was wonderful. I mean, great for your image. You know, I never noticed you got these two little hairs that are growing right out of the end of your nose. Very funny. I suppose they call that freedom of the press. Well, I got a friend at the FCC who's going to hear about this. Where's the phone? Beavers. Bobby's Little League uniform. What do you think? Not bad, huh? Great. I'm the manager. No kidding. Here, sign these. What's this? Hmm. Mike, what do you think is better for a bunt signal? Cap, arm, chest, leg? Leg, chest, arm, cap. Um, the other one. Wait a minute, this is an accident report, and it's wrong. Look, the guy used a machine pistol. Aristotle was murdered while somebody else was trying to kill Kate. It's always got to be complicated with you. It's always got to be murder. It can never be something simple like a hit and run. Barrington, are you brain damaged as well as nose damaged? Why don't you just talk to Kate? She'll tell you. Kate signed a report, Mike. What? She was released a few moments ago. Now, will you sign a report, please? What the hell are you talking about? Dr. Martin. Excuse me, where is Kate Collin? That, that gentleman right there just checked her out. Hey, hey! Hey! Hey, wait a minute! Hi! Hi. Come back here! going on here? Who was that in the car with Kate? I don't know. Well, I want her phone number and I want her address and I want it right now. Feeling a little wind at your back door? Nice fun, honey. Thanks. I'll make a note. Oh, Mike. You remember Mr. Porter? Yeah. How you doing, Mr. Porter? Listen, uh... Just a minute. Zelda? Yeah? I want you to call this number and keep trying it to get a hold of somebody. Okay. Moochie's waiting inside. Hey, I haven't talked to you for two days, and that's all I get? No hello. How's it going? It's great to see you. Hello. How's it going? Great to see you. <laughs> call the number. Nice to be appreciated. Hey, Moochkin. Hey, Michael. I'd like you to meet Cherry. She's an electronics wizard. Handles all my computers. Wizard, huh? I know how to push all the right buttons. Oh, yeah? Bet you got a soft touch. What do you got here? Roll it. Ciao. It was Kate Conlon, and it made me sick. Who is this guy? Some kind of attaché with the French embassy. And I believe you know the lady. Yeah. I know the lady. Oh. 
Where'd you get this crap? Now, this stuff used to be in possession of John Box. Now, you know, a tape like that can only serve one purpose, blackmail. Knowingly or not, your Kate is involved. John Box is not going to let her just walk away. Mm -mm. I'll take care of that. What do you want? As long as Mr. Box sells the two-step and his ladies, I don't care. But this blackmail, <laughs> Michael, you know, one scandal and the authority's going to come down on everybody. That means me and my girls, too. So you want me to take John Box down? My girls don't make any money behind bombs. Watching that tape was a real education. I decided to go to Kate's apartment and pay the teacher a visit. I never thought of Kate as vain. With a video camera on one wall and a still camera on the other, she certainly wasn't going to miss her best side or anybody else's. I didn't want to see the pictures inside that camera, but I knew I had to. Excuse me, sir. Do you want to see the subways cleaned up? Yeah, I sure do. Like to sign my petition? Love to. Where is it? Don't turn around. We're not interested, honey. Let's walk, shall we? Use your ears. Not your eyes. Use them properly. You're weighing over your head. I try to make that a habit. Uh-uh. I said, use your ears. Don't go popping off. You were somewhere you shouldn't have been. Some things will end sooner than later. Leave Kate Conlon alone. You're a bad mix, you two. Yeah? Why don't you and me just try and mix it up right now? Got Velda's opinion? What do you think? You need a double straight up. Mike, I'm talking about my new hairstyle. Is that new? Yeah. Looks great. I knew men would hate it. The double. Come enough. You better make it a triple, Jenny. I did get the photos back from Kate's apartment. You're not going to like them. Make it a quadruple. Oh, it's all right, Dimitri. I know the gentleman. Mr. Hammer. I see you come for your Yankee tickets. It wasn't necessary. I would have sent them. Yeah? What about the tickets to this ball game? It's not your best angle, pal. Where did you get this? Does it mean John Box ring a bell? I'll pay what you want. Americans have taken blackmail and raised it to an art form. Well, I wouldn't exactly call this art. I mean, the lighting is okay, but the situation is a little uh, kinky for my day. I have a wife and a child, Mr. Hammer. In your country, this would merely be a scandal. But where I come from, these pictures could destroy me. How much does John Box want? But I don't work for John Box. Come to America and you think you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you like under the guise of diplomatic immunity. Tell me something. 
How does somebody like you get mixed up with a slime like John Fox, anyway? It's not so difficult. He's very... Did you start to speak the languages of Europe? Many diplomats, especially those from the East, find it difficult to adjust. We go there to talk, to dance. To... Dance, huh? What do you call this, the foxtrot? Well, don't worry, I won't blow your cover. The girl I'm interested in. I'll even take care of John Bach. What do you think of that, Botkapus? Blackmail may be the dirtiest game of them all, and the filth contaminates everyone it touches. I was going to enjoy taking John Box apart. Planning a night out, eh, Box? What the hell are you doing here? This is what I'm doing here. Huh? You get the picture? Girls do more than just dance. They're sleeping with these guys. And you add a little blackmail to make quite a profit. But these guys are all diplomats. Now I want to know why. You're in way over your head, Hammer. Yeah, I know. People keep telling me that. You know, you're going to tell me what this is all about. All right, no rough stuff. I'll tell you. Some guys in town. Drop in like this. You see that wound? That's me. I gave him that last night. He killed a friend of mine. Now it's all square. And from here on, you're out of it. And you're out of Kate Cumberland's life. You get it? Give me a good reason. Life? Yours. I guess having a Russian assassin come after you is kind of a memorable occasion, but somehow I wasn't in the mood to celebrate. Hey, fella, you want to point that camera at the body? Brother, when you want publicity, you can never get it. Only two dead. What are you, cutting back? Can't wait to hear your version of what happened here. All right. The Russian got John Box. The guy that hustled Kate out of the hospital got the Russian. Now, I laid a slug into the Russian last night, but he's... All right, all right, you can go. What? You can go. What? What's this? I don't think you heard me. I want you out. Don't get your nose out of joint. Oh, you picked a great time to cause a mess. It never fails. Two on. Bottom of the fifth. One run behind. Nobody out. Our best hitter coming up. Kenny Sloss. He's 12 years old. Built like Steve Garvey, only not as clean cut. Huh? You should have been here for the doubleheader. What happened? What happened? Don't move. Would you shoot me if I turned on the light? I had to make sure it was you. Usually is. I live here. Turn the light on. Take off your jacket. Just the jacket? Why not the whole thing? I mean, why not go all the way? Huh? You could even take pictures. Take your gun out, put it down, and move away from it. What about these? Huh? Remember these? What do you want to do with these, huh? I came here to be straight with you if you just keep your mouth shut and give me a chance. These pictures are what 
you're really angry about, Mike. I'm a professional. That's putting it kindly. No, not like that. Six months ago, I didn't dare tell you what I was. No more than I could tell you why I had to leave. Well, I don't get it. Why didn't you? I work for military intelligence. I have for four years. that sent me away on this assignment. I, I couldn't tell anybody, not even you. I went back to New York and John Box. John Box? What about all the others? Damn you! Don't... John Box has his hooks into the diplomats of this town. Blackmail! Not for money. Then for what? For government secrets. Government secrets? Listen, you better start leveling with me right now. When diplomat victim was an American who gave John Box a microdot that has top secret plans for our defense that, or there must be other government agents involved. Of course. Then why are you still caught up in it? Because John Box is only a middleman, and I'm closing in on the ringleader. He's going to turn over the microdot to the Russians any day now. I don't have time for games. Yeah, you played me pretty well. But anything for your profession, right, Kate? I was never professional with you. Maybe that was real. Maybe the best thing I've ever Stupid to come here. You know, those pictures, they really hurt me a lot. Why? Because you're not in them? You got it. Professional, huh? Please, Mike, don't get in my way. Well, what would you do if I did? Kill me? Coffee's getting cold. Maybe I couldn't stop Kate, but I had to know what she was up to. The next 12 hours, my office was across the street from our apartment. I once heard they could shrink the Gettysburg Address down to the size of a pinhead. Now they're cramming government secrets into a tiny micro dot. People were dying for it. And I didn't want Kate to be one of them. So I followed her to the UN building and saw her go inside. I was always curious about what went on in there. Kate was in there with me, and I couldn't tell whether she was dead or alive.
on A&E. Kate had taken a pretty bad hit on the head and was still unconscious when I got her to the hospital. Somebody had made a big mistake. They left me alive. She has a severe head trauma. I put her on some medication to keep the brain from swelling. How long has she been unconscious? A couple of days. You're going to stick around if you don't mind. Come on. gun on me, they're gonna have to jumpstart your heart. Agent Griffin is with military intelligence. He's Kate Conlon's superior. Should you forget that he saved your life? I forget nothing, including the fact that he is still using her. Using her? Kate Conlon's a professional. A professional, please. I'm sick and tired of doing that work. She's maybe the best I've got. In four years, she's won more commendation than any man in my unit. And don't forget she uncovered the connection between the KGB and John Buxy's blackmail operation. But then that cover was broken. She stopped trusting everyone. Stopped trusting me. So what's that, surprise of the week? She didn't stop trusting you. Where's the microdon? I don't have any idea where it is. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, no, you make me a very happy man. You don't understand, Hammer, do you? You don't understand, do you? That microdon contains information that will be catastrophic to America in the wrong hands. Danger to the balance of power? All right. But Kate had no idea where that micro dot was. She was getting close to it, but she had no idea where it was. Must have been a recent contact. There are Captain Chambers here. That's me. You have a phone call. Yeah, easy. Come on. So what happens to the guy who tried to kill Kate? Let's government work, Hammer. No room for personal vendettas. Regular Billy Graham. Yeah, this homicide. It's just a couple of goons at Yankee Stadium pulverizing a guy. Scrape him off the bathroom walls. Pickpocket. Lester D. Weldon, alias Lester the Dip. Twenty bucks on the game. You're on. Good. Dip's personal belongings. Hey, what are you doing? That's evidence. Last night was the Yankees' home opener, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the Beavers' home opener, too. They got beat 32 to 6. Poor little dipstick. Only one of them was a free ticket to the game. Mike, talk English. Hey, look at this. See that printing? It's blue. This dot? It's black. What, are you Sherlock Holmes or something? Right. Look at these stubs, Dr. Watson. There's a dot on this one. Ain't no dot on this one. You having a good time? Doctor? I think we may have just found ourselves a micro dot. Be a hero. We don't sneeze. The trail led to a party at the French Embassy. According to Velda, they throw the classiest affairs. And if I wanted a soda water, I shouldn't ask for a derriere. Good evening, man. I'm the ambassador from Flatbush, and I'm going to be your escort for the next 10 minutes. Ten minutes? Or if I need an extension? We give extensions at Flatbush. <laughs> Sweetheart, please forgive me, but I've got some business to take care of, but I want you to have fun. Don't eat too many hors d'oeuvres. Certainly, I'm not really hungry for food. <laughs> Wise decision. I hear the caterers up on Tomain charges. Monsieur? Oh, thank you very much.
the man I wanted would be here. And I was right. Excuse me. Ah, oh, Mr. Hammer. I need to talk to you in private. But, uh, yes, I know, but it's very important. Pardon me. I'll be only a moment. Don't count on it. Maybe you can come back later. Sorry, sweetheart. I've got my hands full. Take this, turkey. the micro dot did they i don't know what you're talking about. on the ticket you see we don't dot our e's in this country you knew that lester would be at the yankee game but you didn't know that the ticket would be in his hat band hey it was your biggest mistake you just couldn't keep your hand out of the cookie jar could you i'm an official of the bulgarian government i have diplomatic immunity not for me you don't come on we both know you're a kgb spy that was a sweet little blackmail gig you tried to set up you have no evidence your police cannot touch me you forget I am not the police. And then there are those very interesting pictures of you and Kate. I can't think you are naive. My superiors do not regard dead prostitutes with such seriousness. Wrong again, Bozo. She's alive, and she's not a prostitute. She's a U.S. agent. Military intelligence. You know, I think you're gonna have a little trouble explaining to your superiors about your relationship with Kate, not just an innocent role in the hay. You see, blackmail works both ways. I can make you a wealthy man, whatever you ask. Really? My very own MIG jet? What happened to that famous Bulgarian sense of humor? Huh? Uh, oh, no. Now, this is for Kate. You want him alive? No value to us dead. He's dead already. Or at least he will be when his KGB buddy's gonna hold of those photographs. Hey, now hang on. We'll decide what's gonna happen to the photographs, all right? Decided already. I sent him COD to the Kremlin. Hey, what do you think? You government guys are the only ones who play hardball? All right. Well, I'd say he got his just desserts, wouldn't you? What is it with you, Hammer? One international incident a week isn't enough for you? Oh, come on, Barry. Then be grateful for words. You could score some points on this, you know. Yeah, I'll be grateful the day you move to Miami and open up a tattoo parlor. Hey, excuse me, can we please ask you some questions about what happened here? Sorry, fellas. I have got to catch a plane to Miami, but I'm sure that Assistant D.A. Barrington will tell you everything you want to know. Mr. Barrington, can you help us? Please, we need some information. Please. Would you Sorry, I said I would not answer any questions. No, anything at all. Please. Any information at all. Please, Mr. Barrington, please. Leave me alone. Any information, please. Mr. Hammer. Mike. Mike. Nice to have you back. How's that a long time? A couple of days. Sure, I'm glad to see you. Yeah. Me too. I love the flowers. Just you remembered my color. Yeah. Hey, you know, I think we're not doing too well. But they sure are beautiful while they last. Sure. Take care of yourself. See you around. 
I knew I couldn't change Kate any more than she could change me. I had a habit of choosing unpredictable women in my life. This is Mike Wallace. The biggest military victory since World War II. So why did Saddam Hussein remain in power? The Persian Gulf War on the next 20th century. Tonight, only on a and &E. Now, Remington is on his way to the hospital with a real emergency. Next on a and &E.